allow me to introduce the PNM candidate of Tobago East, none other than Mrs. Ayana, Mrs. Ayana, Mrs. Ayana Wapsaroy. PNM coming. afraid now and who ain't dead they badly wounded when I say we're looking good market square we're looking good brothers and sisters I continue to be heartened and humbled by the outpouring of your love and support and again I say thank you I have been asked on more than one occasion why I decided to get into politics at this time I can assure all of you, it was a well thought out decision, arrived at on the basis of sober reflection, prayer and consultation. My brothers and sisters, I take very strong objection to what I see passing for governance in this country. I believe my children deserve better. I believe your children deserve better. I know that all of Trinidad and Tobago deserve better. Moreover, I want to do my part to restore good governance in Trinidad and Tobago. Over the past five years, we have seen unprecedented levels of corruption and crime, blatant attempts to alter the Constitution to serve partition political interests. Rampant victimization in a land that boasts of equity and harmony. Blatant attempts to disrespect and undermine the work of the Tobago House of Assembly. Concerted efforts to undermine most of the independent institutions in our country. The state of affairs cannot be allowed to continue for five more years. Five more years under a Kamala Prasad Bissessa regime may very well lead to the demise of democracy, decency, unity, integrity, and equity. To Begonians, I want you to understand that although many will come to you for a vote and ask you to vote only for Tobago's interest, I ask you this time to vote not only for Ireland, vote to save our nation. Vote to save Trinidad and Tobago. My brothers and sisters, there are only two parties contesting this general election with any real chance of forming the next government of Trinidad and Tobago, the People's National Movement and the UNC. Whatever symbol or opponents come to you with, whatever jersey colors they have, whoever they tell you funding their campaigns, and how independent they tell you they are, I want you to know they are all UNC. I can tell you without fear of contradiction, they are all UNC agents. The only real choice we face in this election is between the UNC and the PNM. Brothers and sisters, on the basis of their record and the treatment meted out to Tobago over the last five years, the UNC or any party or individual associated with the UNC in Tobago should get no votes. They should get what? No votes. Right, that's it. The only choice come September 7th, 2015, is the People's National Movement. Last Sunday, I told the gathering at Buku that I believe the PNM is the best party to restore Trinidad and Tobago. Market Square, just as I believe, I want you to believe. Do you believe Market Square? I want you to make all the undecided voters of Trinidad and Tobago 
understand and believe that the PNM, under the leadership of Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, is what our nation needs at this time. A true leader, a visionary, a man of integrity and supreme intelligence. To the persons in this audience from Tobago East, let me hear Tobago East. In my many walks about and consultations with you over the last few weeks, I heard your dreams and aspirations, and I share your vision for the development of Tobago East. I have listened to you, and I note your concern for Tobago's right to self-determination being respected, and your impatience for the call of internal self-government to be answered. In the pursuit of the democratic self-government for Tobago, I shall not waver or wilt, I will fight for you. It shall be my priority and stand at the core of my role as parliamentary representative. Together with Shamfor Kotro, we will work to ensure the wishes of the people of Tobago for increased autonomy are respected and secured. Tobago East, I will work to ensure greater opportunities are available to foster entrepreneurial activities and the development of sustainable jobs. I will advocate for the construction of the new Roxborough Police Station and the Fire Station. I will advocate for the upgrade or replacement of Mariah and the Charlottesville Police Station. I will advocate for the Coast Guard base that was being developed under the last PNM administration to be reconsidered. I will be an avid, resolute, and tireless advocate for adequate funding for the THS development programs. Yes, I can guarantee you. There must be adequate funding, enough money to channel into agriculture and ensuring the food security of our people. I unreservedly support the Assembly's vision in terms of Tobago's East readiness for more investment in tertiary level education. We have a number of community facilities that we could configure to serve as distant learning centers and bring world-class programs to our people. Market Square, those of us who live in the East know that we love the East and we would want our children and their children to build stable families in the East so that we can maintain our strong family ties. I will strongly advocate on your behalf for the Tobago House of Assembly to get the budgetary allocation that will facilitate an accelerated housing program. Overall, I stand before you today to commit the next government of Trinidad and Tobago to assuring water security of our people. Brothers and sisters, there must be the necessary legislative, administrative, and policy framework in place to give the Tobago House of Assembly control of a reliable and efficient public transportation system, including operation of PTSC in Tobago. My fellow Tobagonians, God has been good to us, and he has been good to the people's national movement. I believe his goodness will prevail, and it will prevail right to the end. My brothers and sisters, but as we go through this campaign process, I want to give all of Tobago my firm commitment to clean and fair campaigning. We are all Tobagonians, and regardless of what, we have to live in this space together after September 7th. Let us continue to work in a dignified manner. Let us continue to spread the gospel of the PNM to every nook and cranny with decency and order. God has a purpose and a plan for each and every one of us. And I believe 
that he has called me into a season of service to the people of my country. I will serve with honesty, passion, and sincerity. I will serve you well, Tobago, and I have confidence that Ms. Shamfa Kojo, my running mate, will serve you well. With God's help and with your support, on election night, Tobago East will be, will be declared a PNM stronghold. I, Ayano Webster Roy, will be declared your representative. I will be the next member of parliament for Tobago East. Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley will be the next prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago. My PNM brothers and sisters, on the night of September 7th, we shall all stand together and declare, great is the PNM, great is the PNM, great is the PNM, and we shall always prevail. Thank you.